So you can't get mad when you looked at bullshit and you sold bullshit. If you are the author of a book, your name is on the front of a book, it's sort of like, I don't know, obvious or it should be obvious to people that you were the person that wrote. Popping you two and scene. All right, Larry, where's my water? This video is just it's self explanatory, hence the caption. The caption, hence the title. I'm not sure what I'm gonna make the title as of it. This video is gonna be about me addressing the comments in the B Simone video. I think I had a couple people tell me they wanted to know my reaction on that video so this is not only a video of my reaction to that video but it's also me addressing some of the comments first and foremost as i said in the video and i kept reiterating this well that video was solely my opinion and my opinion only i honestly didn't even know the video was gonna go that far so it's not my fault the video is a review so when you're reviewing something it's going to be, you're going to say the pros and you're going to say the cons. Or it doesn't even have to be so much pros and cons. It could be the pros and what you feel like that author, that um, entrepreneur or whoever it is, what they can work on. So I said what I liked. Then I proceeded to say what I felt was where it got a little... I don't even, I don't even know where the book is. I don't know where the book is. Don't ask me. I don't know where the book is. My friends are asking me, can they borrow it? I don't even know where the book is. I personally feel like it was more so the way she made it seem. So she made it seem like she stayed up countless amount of hours from 10 a.m. all up until 2, 3, 4, 5 a.m. the next day. She made it seem like she put her blood, sweat, and tears. She made it seem like she stuffed her big toe in the book, the pamphlet, or whatever, the magazine, whatever you guys, you crazy kids are calling it these days in my comments. I don't know. She made the book seem like it was going to be the holy grail to life. The blueprint. Or how to make it in life. That's, how, that's, what, that's, that's what I was coming from. She, the way she made it seem on her Instagram, she, which another thing, if you're selling a product, whatever okay cool people you want to say stuff to make people buy which is so understandable but it comes a point in time when you can't just be money hungry or just seem like you're lit like she was just taking people's money because the book had no substance the book just had activities in which come to find out you can get them on google for free but i feel like the whole nine to five comment that she made really is what sparked up all of this controversy because of the simple fact that you're clowning people or whatever the hell she said you're talking about people with a nine to five you can't date nobody with a nine to five when your job was simple all you had to do was pay people to write a book for you produce it slap your price tag on it with your face and sell and that was it people that work nine to fives really break their back and like hustle for their money while you just took the easy like you know what i mean like you're supposed to be teaching us something you're supposed to be teaching us how to hustle you're supposed to be teaching us the ways of a side hustle you're supposed to be teaching us certain things certain fundamentals of a business of running a business you're supposed to be teaching us as someone that is higher up but you literally pay people to do the things that you're supposed to put in a book what allegedly made you who you are and another thing with this whole book madness mess. If you are the author of a book, and this is just my one, like my one point. If you are the author of a book, your name is on the front of a book. It's sort of like, I don't know, obvious or it should be obvious to people that you were the person that wrote the book. And it's for all the people that have something negative to say in the comments. It just comes a fine line when some of y'all entrepreneurs just have to stop BSing. Like, for real, for real. Like, 
we all want to be seen as entrepreneurs that are rich, make money, cool. At the end of the day, the money's cool, the money's fine, but you have to learn to have like happiness within yourself. You have to learn that the money will always be there. You can't live a lie. Like we all have capped on social media here and there. But you, you can't just like live a lie basically. So I think that's where the heat came from is you talk down on people with nine to fives, but you turned around and put in no real work for that book. And you charge people $33 for something that you said was going to make us greater than what we are right now. Like, I don't know if I'm thinking too deep of it, but you know what I mean? I know you know what I mean. Cause it's like, what the hell? If I made a book that says Samantha on it, people gonna say, all right, Samantha wrote it. People are not thinking to themselves, okay, it says B. Simone, she hired people to write it. And she even said on her, on her IG story, she wasn't aware on how to write a book. So she paid people or paid a team to do it. So if you didn't know how to write a book, we were all in school, right? And if you're not in school right now, we were all in school at a point in time. What professor, what teacher did B. Simone have that didn't make her write an essay? That didn't make her write a short story? Hold on. It's a perfect example. I made this book in the... 2006? Where the hell was I in 2006? I made this book in the, between the third, fourth, or fifth grade. And I think this was like standard, like regardless if your teacher, my teacher literally forced the whole class to make a whole damn book. Mind you, I'm in the third grade. It was a rocket science to me, and I was in third grade. The tornado plate. Like, I have so many of these things in my, in my closet that I've kept from third, fourth, and fifth grade. It's not even funny. I was in third grade doing that, and I didn't clear my English major until junior year of college. You didn't have homework. You, you know what I mean? Like, you didn't have homework. You didn't have essays. You didn't have, like, to proofread, reread people's essays during school. Like, it's just so many things I thought of. Like, how? I know you have to... I know a book isn't the easiest thing in the world. It's, it's not. It's not. Very complex when it comes to books. But the way in which you took that route, and even all when you paid somebody or paid people to write this book for you, you didn't look through the pages and said, this is BS, like I can't sell this. It's just a lot of red flags when it came to that book, like honestly speaking. And I'm not the basher, but it was a lot of red flags. So I kind of see where people in the comments are coming from, but... I'm just here to tell you about the people that had like negative stuff to say like oh well you paid for it you did this you did that yeah and i also bought i will teach you how to be rich i forgot the um the author damn that's a really good book i will t i can teach you how to be rich when i tell you even from the first two chapters i felt as though i was superior like i was about to save for a house a car have kids like i don't know like that book just made me so motivated and this book just had some two page introduction that you could tell she probably wrote herself did it by herself i don't know i don't care and then followed by a whole bunch of activities that we could literally write ourselves in our room for free on a blank piece of paper with a sharpie it's not that hard to manifest this is what i was getting at so what made your book so special that you felt the need to get on Instagram and tell us for a week straight, you need to cop my book. You need to get you need, you need to get my book. You need to follow all the steps. It'll teach you how to be rich like me. I'm a successful millionaire. I'm on my way to being a billionaire. I'm gonna be so great in this life, a trillionaire, a multi-figuring, whatever, like, bro. That's how she was talking in those Instagram lives. So before you published that book and sold it to millions of people, you could have said to yourself, hmm, this is a little bit on the side. So let me revise this, write down what they need to work on, what they should include, add in, put my pieces together so I can produce a product that is sellable. So you can't get mad when you looked at bullshit and you sold bullshit. 
those are just my my points on it like i'm not even about to rant about this but all i gotta really say is you saw what the book looked like before you published it so it's on you rooting for you but it's all on you You know what I hate? I feel like when I stop the camera, I always forget to say something. See, the moral of the story is if you're writing a book about yourself, who better to write it than yourself? Huh? Is it? Okay. That was the end of this video, though. I want you to like, comment down below your thoughts, how you feel about it, if you agree, disagree. It don't even matter to me at this point. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. If you are new to the channel, make sure you click that red button. Subscribe to my channel. We just got to 1K. I want the family to keep going. I love, 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 love. When I get DMs from people that say, oh, I saw this video. I loved it. Like, I could sit there and talk to you for hours. Like, you're my friend. You're my best friend at this point. We're besties. Thank you again for tuning in to another video. And I'm going to see y'all in the very next